All right, time for another February performance back test. This one is on a channel that calls itself Baby Pips Forex Signals Official. Uh, and I got to tell you, I don't think it's the Baby Pips official channel. Uh, this one is a lot like all the other channels that we test. There's a lot of chatter and a lot of uh, solicitation for investments, deposit this and get this back. Don't fall for that stuff. I shouldn't have to say that, but but I'm consistently surprised that customers who fall for this stuff. So don't don't fall for this. Um, so let's take a quick look at the at the data that we extracted and I actually had to go through and and clean a lot of this up um, for a number of reasons one you know there's a lot of chatter on this channel but when you get chatter that's talking about a signal and buying that signal or symbol uh, or selling that symbol and it mentions a price to the copier or to the back tester that looks like a trade right and so you have to go through and screen a lot of that stuff out or at least that's what I have to do when I when I run this data and I, I just for that reason alone I would never bother following a channel like this if I was using a copier it's just too it's too difficult to get it to function like it's supposed to function because the format's constantly changing you know they do weird things like like this where they'll string the prices together with a dash in the middle so a copier or a back tester is going to see that and just it just looks like one number. Uh, and so then it will try to create an order with that number. And of course, that order is going to get rejected. So uh, it's just little things like that. Uh, so let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the report. Um, and this is uh, yeah, so this is for February. Uh, and you can see that we had a gross profit of $2,704 and a gross loss of $3,050. So we came in with about a $346 loss for the month. Um, and a lot of churn, right? We had a spike high up to about $10,300. And then we just drifted lower down to about almost a 10% drawdown, 10% loss at one point. Uh, and then we came back up above 10,000, but then we <laughs> closed down. So, I, uh, you know, for me, a channel like this, it just, there just is no upside to trying to follow something like this. The, the inconsistency in signal format, the chatter, uh, the losses, the, it's just, it's too difficult. So, uh, yeah, and I think we had 288 trades, mostly, uh, mostly gold. And then a few currency pairs. Um, so yeah, there you have it. I'll leave a link in the <laughs> in the description if you in case you want to check it out. But you know, for me personally, I just uh, there's just no upside to it. So 